Hello guys, what's going on? Today we're checking out the new Tower of Chaos. As you can see, I've already gone past the first 50 floors. There are a few things to note. Uh, they did change most of the floors, but the first notable boss comes at level 40 here. This is a Fire Kira, I believe, with a pretty much unbreakable shield. It actually is unbreakable, like literally not, not even my strongest DPS units could break it. Uh, the only way I was able to get past it was to uh, kill her in one turn with the defense down and uh, using, uh, I think my Dark Atito was, what was able to do is active ton of damage with the uh, defense break. For those of you that don't have the extremely high DPS units like that, a good alternative, and probably the only alternative actually, if you can't one turn her, T and Tiny uh, rose a Evo 2 level 40 water jelly, uh, which has shield break on its 3 star skill, and that was enough for it to survive with a couple of other water units there because you know you have the wood Persephone's there uh, before the boss so if it's just the water jelly there as your only water unit it probably won't survive um, but it is a tank and just put tanky gems on it put wh whatever you have really level them up a bit uh, put spare gems that you've raised before whatever just get it decently tanky level 40 evo 2 is actually enough or any other shield breaker you definitely do need a shield breaker if you're not going to uh, be able to one shot it because once she gets her shield off she'll keep healing and healing and have that shield pretty much forever so yeah that's basically what that is. 45, you have a Wood Kira, I believe. This is, I believe, a single stage boss. Uh, it's not too hard, but it is kind of annoying because you have the two Wood Monas on the side. I don't really have a strategy here for you on that one. Just bring a self-sustainer, some damage dealers to get rid of the Monas. And um, a passive healer would be good, or a burst healer, whatever. Any healer that basically heals, because the battle may take a while with the Mona self-healing and then being so tanky and stuff. And the uh, wood Kira, I believe, gives a d defense boost as well. Level 50, not actually too hard. Uh, there's just the Water Shiva there. He doesn't do anything too special, um, so I don't really have much to say about that. I believe he does recovery down and thirst or something like that, something along those lines. Maybe it's recovery down and fatigue. I'm not too sure. The skills aren't too dangerous, but he does do kind of a lot of damage. So basically just bring a decently strong team, maybe a couple Wood Astromons in there. But we're uh, going to go on to floor 51 now. I don't know if we're going to go to all the way to 70 if we even can, but we're going to try and make it to at least 60 in this video and maybe we'll have a part two. I can't tell yet, never, never even tried level 51. But uh, let's check out the units here. So we got a Dark Hunter, uh, Water, and a Grass Hunter. I know the Dark one stuns. He's a defender. He's going to be quite annoying. The Water one is a self-healer, and the Wood one is a sapper, it looks like. So I still think the uh, Dark one's the most dangerous. Maybe we'll get a Light dude in here or two. I guess we can go like this. Uh, the Nike's just in there to help deal with him. I should probably replace Shelly with, uh, I don't know fire to take care of the grass. I would rather take a wood, but uh, my horn isn't too strong at the moment, so I guess we'll go ahead and go like this. Starting off with all water hunters, I'm just gonna leave it on auto and see if that is enough. Oh, my wild thing is dead. That was kind of actually uh, messed up. There are three different elements of hunters here, but since I did happen to have a, a fire, it's going to bring all water at the first round. That's that's nice. Well, this stage wasn't an issue. The water ones don't do too much damage. I'm not sure about the uh, other ones for now. I know the dark one is a defender, so it shouldn't be doing too much either. Oh no, stunned. Gotta take care of the dark ones as soon as possible. I recommend that because stun is very annoying. But yeah, there's plenty of self-sustain here with Dark Jack. They don't deal too much damage. The fire wild thing was obviously a mistake, I, I guess but it uh, doesn't really matter now. But yeah, that should do it. Next up, we got Fire and Light Hunters. Also very annoying, these two. They're both attackers, so a lot more damage is gonna be going on there. This one shocks on its three-star skill. The fire one stuns on its active skill, so I think the light ones are more important to, to get rid of immediately, and then the fire ones before they have their actives off. So I'm definitely going to uh, swap out Nike for Gatito and maybe Wild Fang for Shelly to get a defense break in there, and even though they don't really need defense break, water versus fire is quite nice also. And since I'll be focus firing the uh, light ones first, Shelly shouldn't be in too much danger. So we got all fire to start off with, just going to hit it with Shelly first and then uh, see if I can uh, complete it with, yeah, okay. So these guys, uh, while they probably do do a lot of damage, they're not very, uh, they don't have much HP or defense or anything as they are attackers, so it shouldn't be much of an issue. Okay, first wave is done, but this guy has his active, so he's going to be hurting someone. Ouch. Now we got three light ones here, definitely gotta take care of those first. Going to hit it with Shelly, it was resisted. Let's see if we can, uh, oh damn, these guys actually are a little bit tanky for being attackers. Hopefully they don't shock. Okay, my Gatito got shocked, that's pretty bad. 
But uh, let's see if we can do this. His defense is down. That should be enough. Just a light and a fire one left now. So hopefully... Ooh, ouch. Okay, there goes my Gatito. Should be okay, though. Should be okay. This The light one should go down. Now there's just a fire one left. And we only have one round to go. So I think we'll be okay. Should be wrapping this up now. They can take care of him. Shelly can take care of that dude with his missiles there. All right, so now we're moving on to the next stage. This looks like a full healer. This is going to be annoying. We got uh, yeah, healer, healer, healer and recovery up here. Healer and Vigor here. I'd recommend trying to get rid of the Wood Hannah first because she gives a defense boost and that would be very annoying, I can imagine. All the rest don't have too dangerous or annoying skills. Recovery up, Vigor, and uh, Resilience isn't too bad. So I try and bring at least one strong fire with you. I know there are two waters there as well, but they honestly shouldn't be doing too much damage. So getting rid of the Wood ones first and then having DPS for the rest. I may not even take Jack with me because I know they're not going to be doing too much damage. It's a little bit risky, but I'm going to try going full DPS to try and counter their uh, re recovery and healing and stuff. So let's give it a try. Okay, of course, we're starting off with four water Astromons. Let's see how this works out. I was able to only get rid of one of them, so uh, hopefully they don't... Oh, they deal a lot of damage for being healers. Okay, then. I did not know they would deal that much damage. I'm not sure if we're going to be able to get through this without uh, having any healers now, but uh, we're going to give it a try. They do die pretty quickly. Uh, Jack has her active, so we're gonna we're gonna see what this does. Now they're all, all grass for some reason. Okay, so Jack can do a lot of damage to them. Let's uh, get rid of this wood one here. What? Come on. Okay, Tatito got fucked with debuffs. <laughs> He's stunned and attack down, but I guess attack down doesn't really matter. It's only for one turn anyway. Uh, okay, so I can get rid of this Hannah, and the last one will fall in the next turn. So we only got one round left. It shouldn't be too much of a big deal. Going to get rid of the wood one first with Gatito's active, and uh, see if we can kill one of these. Oops. Did the combo wrong, but it doesn't... Ah. If the combo was right, it probably would have died. Doesn't matter, I can get rid of it with the AoE here. That one's down. And that last Hannah also. So both times I brought my Wild Fang, there were a full team of water <laughs> in the first round. I'm not sure if that's just bad luck or if they're uh, trying to tell me to stop bringing her. Okay, now we have fire, wood, and water Anus. The water one is probably the most dangerous with defense down and it being an attacker. The wood one is also an attacker and maybe even more dangerous because it has critical hit damage plus 50 on both of its 3 and 5 star skills. So if they do have high crit rate, I'm not sure how they build the enemies here, if they do even give them gems or if you'll have the base 10%. I'm not sure about that, not sure if they get extra just for being enemies or whatever, but I guess we'll see that once we're in there. I'm not sure if I'm going to bring my wild thing again, even though I would like to, but the water enemy is probably going to like one-shot her, so I'm going to keep her out. Maybe I'll go with my full DPS team with the healer in there, we'll see how that works out. Not totally sure, this one might need a retry, we'll see. Oh, okay, so we got four attackers here, not a single fire one, the fire one's the tank. I'm not really sure which one I should go for first, I don't want to get defense downed. Let's go for the wood one. Oh man, they have a, they're pretty tanky for uh, being attackers. If they focus fire, oh no. Okay, but they actually don't do too much damage for attackers either. So uh, we should be able to get rid of this one. Let's uh, put Jack on there. And go after the water one, see if they're any less tanky. They're actually even, okay, well, didn't crit. That 4% chance not to crit really uh, hurts sometimes. Uh, my Kraken is defense down, that's very bad. Gotta wrap this up as soon as possible. Hopefully Dark Jack has enough to kill it. Okay. Oh no, Kraken, please don't die. Okay, uh, she took a lot of damage, but it's okay. She'll get healed back up with uh, Jack's... Oh no, okay, gotta turn off auto because I've got Tito. All right, looking better here. We have a fire one, which is kind of annoying because of stun. On the other hand, it is a tank, so I'd rather get rid of the easier to kill ones first. So two down, two to go on this round. All right, so we took care of those. We got the final round to go now. Two grass and, uh, whoops, still on auto. All right, so they are taken care of. Let's move on to the next round. We're gonna be going up against a boss pretty soon here. I heard, yeah, it's, it's actually the next round. I think this might be the one with extremely high defense. She'll also heal herself on her active. I think this is the one you absolutely need sap for, which is kind of bad for me because I don't really have any good sappers. Maybe this light Gatito I raised will come in handy for something. Uh, let's go ahead. I think we'll need a more tanky sapper team for this one since no matter how much damage you can deal, uh, it's not going to be very much, unless maybe Defense Break will do some good stuff. So she's a light type, we'll have to take care. Maybe want to take my Kraken anyway to help mitigate the damage to Jack. And I guess we could try our Shelly also, not sure what the enemies are before the boss. 
Let's just go in, give it a try. We only have two sappers here. We're, we're gonna have to see what's going on first, to be honest. Oh boy, okay, we have a level 65 uh, wood shiva here. Definitely have to take care of that first, or my water shelly is probably wrecked to pieces. Um, yeah, let's just, <laughs> let's see what we can do. Okay, thankfully, my Kraken was able to take care of it. Ooh, this guy's active skill is kind of dangerous, defends down to almost everyone, but thankfully the round is over. Two Wood Shivas, this isn't good at all. Hopefully they can uh, deal with one of, them, one of them at least. Come on, Shelly, don't die. Ouch, 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 lots of bad stuff. All right, other Shiva went down, so it shouldn't be too much of an issue. Let's get rid of these dudes real quick. I knew it, I knew it. I knew there would be four wood Shivas, just so my Shelly couldn't get, oh man, really, you gotta do it like this. Come on, Shelly, I know you're strong, I, I know you're, okay, well, yeah, uh, hmm. This isn't looking so good anymore. At least we still have our healer and the, two sort of sappers we have here. Oh man. <sighs> well, let's go ahead and check this out. We're at the boss. Uh, we got, uh, ooh, light gel eyes. Ugh. Well, um, let's see what we can do. We're, I'm probably gonna have to try and get rid of the gel eyes first, actually. Yeah, as you can see, the, oh my god, 174,000 HP taken off from one sap. That is a lot of HP. Jesus Christ. Yeah, but definitely have to get rid of the gel eyes first, in my opinion. The boss is gonna take too much damage, I think. Boss has its active, uh, it heals itself, so that's kind of bad. Even so, have to get rid of the jelly, I think. My Kraken is sealed, that's also bad. But if it keeps sealing and stuff, then my I can't even get off the sap, so... Yeah, this isn't looking so good. I'm not sure exactly how I'm gonna change... I don't think I can do this. I'm not sure how I'm supposed to, or what I'm gonna do to change my team. Maybe another sapper, maybe an HP lead or so. They're doing more damage than I thought they would. Maybe it'll be okay once the Jelly is dead, we'll have to see. Alright, the Jellies are dead now, hopefully I can regain Kraken's health here. Yeah, as you can see, 22 damage. So the only way to do any damage really is from Sap. I got three Saps on her now, I just can't let Gatito use his active skill. He definitely just needs to use his normal attack only, and probably these two guys aren't gonna be enough. As you can see, she heals herself a lot, so you're gonna have to get kinda lucky with the Saps or bring a better sapper, water Yuki, or whatever. Well, we're getting there slowly but surely. She's gonna heal again, so it's gonna take a while, but actually if Kraken died, this would make everything easier because <laughs> boss wouldn't regain its active as fast, I think. Ah, resisted. I just need one more sap, come on, or maybe two more saps. Two more saps, come on, Jack. God damn. All right, here we go. This should do it, this should do the trick. Got two saps on her and uh, yeah. It was a long battle, but uh, regardless, we got through it. Unfortunately, Shelly couldn't make it to the boss to even check what the defense down was doing, but I have a feeling it wouldn't have done much, to be honest. Can't tell for sure though. Okay, now we got these fire and wood Darokas or whatever here. Tank and Defender, Defense Downer on active, the Fire one is a Sapper, and a Stunner on active, so I'd try and get rid of the Wood ones first, and uh, make Fire ones priority when they have their active skills, not sure how fast they'll get them up. So Wild Fang, three times the charm, I don't think she'll die this time because there aren't any Water ones, and she should be able to kill the uh, Wood ones hopefully uh, decently quick. Got a pretty tanky team here, two Defense Aggressors plus the Healer and then the Damage Dealer as Wild Fang. Nah, I'm actually gonna switch out Nike with a Fire Nightmare. Maybe we can get some Defense Downs in there and she's decently uh, tanky as well. She has like two Defense Gems still, but she'll be fine as a Defense Downer for now I suppose. Okay, 80% didn't proc, no prob. Well these guys actually seem quite easy and the match only started with three of them. I'm not sure if it's been like that this uh, whole time, but I don't think so. So. Is that it? I think that's it. Yeah, well, that was actually really easy compared to some of the other ones. I'm not sure if it's just because I have a few strong uh, fire astromons where I didn't have the wood, strong wood astromons before. I don't know, but those guys definitely seemed underpowered for uh, floor 56. None of their skills seem all that dangerous, to be honest. We have fatigue, we have recovery down, and taunt. Taunt might be a little bit annoying if you have fire astromons with you. I'm not going to take you again, Wild Fang, because I know there's going to be four Leons at the beginning. Just going to go with my uh, general DPS team here. I think that should be fine. I know DPS stands for damage per second, and that's kind of weird, but I'm pretty sure everyone knows what I mean. Just damage units, whatever. This floor also doesn't seem too hard. Not sure which one actually to focus on. I guess that would mainly depend on the units you have available. 
uh, basically be focusing on the ones you can kill the fastest because I mean these guys don't really have too dangerous skills they're obviously not doing too much damage and uh, yeah that round was actually pretty quick completely audible for me with my just random damage team here I mean, yeah, the, the units are very strong, of course, uh, all 60s, EVO 3, but definitely weaker compared to like some of the floors before 55, so it's kind of weird, but whatever, it is what it is. All right, so now we're on to floor 58 of Chaos Tower. We have <laughs> light Nikes here. Someone in the comments told me they were pronounced Nike. Okay, so I'm going to call them Nikes from now on, like the shoes. It's, it's, all, it's all good. Got some light Nikes here. They're the, the defense aggressors we all know and love. And uh, Neeks, or Nix. I don't know. Just leave me alone with the damn pronunciations. Uh, she's a HP aggressor and a sapper, aggressor, aggression. So she actually doesn't look too dangerous. Nike can be pretty uh, dangerous. We're gonna need a de defense downer, I think. Let's try this out, not sure how it's gonna work. Uh, my god, Tito's probably gonna get wrecked on the first wave. Uh, because if they do target him, let's just see what happens. This light nightmare is a five star, natural five star. So it might actually be stronger than the Nike, so we're gonna try and focus them first. Got the defense down, let's see what we can do. A lot of damage. Uh, I don't think Jack's gonna be enough. Oh, okay, cool. Let's uh, get the other one with uh, Kraken here. Ouch, damn, they do a lot of damage. Well, let's try and uh, let's try and get rid of this one. Come on, yes, good, good. And go after the Nikes now, Nikes. God damn it. Ouch, okay, 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 that's enough there. Oh, she has her active. Survive! Ooh, that was close. Okay, um, yeah. That, this round should be done, but uh, not looking too good right now. Going to see if we can defense down this crap. Yes, we could. Come on, guys, do it. Good. Now we can use Argatito's active on this one. Kill it. Good. All right. And use his active. That should be enough. All right, good. They're both pretty similar units. I would probably still try and get rid of the Nightmares first as they are natural five stars and probably have better stats than the Nikes. All right, on to floor 59 now. We got a full water team going on here. We got the Snowies, got the Gatitos, got the Wild Fangs, got the Jellions. Probably the Water Gatito is the highest priority because of attack down and 100% chance of doing it. I'm I'm gonna swap out Shelly with Horin, even though I do prefer the 100% defense down to the 60%, obviously. Uh, she has a wood type and will have a much bigger advantage here. And I'm gonna swap out Dark Gatito with Light Jack because Light Jack has AoE. So yeah, let's see how that works. Got two Water Gatitos here. Let's see if the Horin can defense down. She can. All right, let's try and kill it. Almost. So yeah, that should wrap that up. Not actually too hard so far yet. But now we're moving on to the Tower of Chaos Floor 60 boss. Don't know what to expect here. We're gonna check it out. What's it? it? Oh, this is Scubus. That is the EO3 Scubus, isn't it? Scubus? So she has morale boost, uh, AOE morale boost actually, and adrenaline. So for all the allies, so probably should take care of the uh, side minions first, whatever they are. Get, I don't know yet. No idea what the elements are when we get there. I'm probably just gonna try and uh, power through it with my dark dudes and my defense breaker, Shelly here. And yeah, let's uh, see, what, uh, see what happens. No idea if what elements there are going to be hopefully no no strong wood ones oh, yay no i said no strong wood ones and i'm on auto battle goodbye shelly it was nice knowing you buddy yeah thanks <sighs> well i'll know for next time in case i'm not able to do this they don't seem to do too much damage unless they're attacking a little tiny glass cannon shell also we have some wood nightmares here not really sure what to make of them pretty sure they're like uh taunters on their aoe or so and maybe sp refillers the nightmares are very tanky but they also don't don't do very much damage gonna see if uh, gatito can oh wow see <laughs> gatito's active doesn't even do half well it really depends on what the side minions of the boss are uh because i have gatitos active i may just try ooh ooh light anus ew no that's no good uh hmm 100 percent defense down from them i'm not too sure let's see what gatitos active does to the boss and then we'll decide does a decent amount decent amount there uh scubus has its active on the first turn not looking too- oh, and it heals. Apparently it has its active every single turn. We'll definitely have to take care of the light Anus first, even though, oh my god, they are extremely tanky. Uh, I'm not sure if that actually even works, so this team doesn't work for sure. 
Um, we're gonna have to think of something and come back here, obviously, because we're already pretty much dead. Probably ignoring the Anus and going completely full offensive might be the only way to do it, but I'm not sure if I'll even be able to make it to the boss without uh, Jack or so. I'm gonna try this team. Maybe I can kill her in one or two turns if I can get everyone there safe and sound. All right, so we've made it to the boss. Hopefully, if uh, I can get defense down, uh, then, then, then light got teeth. Yes, okay, let's give it a shot. Come on. Boom, 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 boom. Yes, okay. Well, we can one turn as long as we get defense down and have Gatitos active. I tried to run right before, but my Gatito died before the boss because of the Shuras. Definitely uh, should try and take care of them first because of their single target active skill is pretty strong and they're not really going to focus on the fire ones if you're bringing fire ones. So yeah, that worked and that's probably where I'm going to wrap up the video for today. Um, I was planning on doing all of the floors, but it's turning out to take a lot longer uh, to go through the stages than I initially thought. So I'm going to break it up into two videos. But yeah, that'll do it for today. Make sure to drop a like down below if you did happen to enjoy. I would really appreciate it. What are your thoughts on Chaos Tower? Have you gotten past 50? Have you beaten it already? Tell me down in the comments below. Thanks as always for watching, and until next time.